Hello and welcome back to another Warframe video from me. Today I will show you an updated uh, build for Amber Prime since uh, the update that she got a few months ago uh, she has different playstyle these days and I thought I will update the video uh, that I have already on this channel and I prepared two builds for you and I will show you here how I modded it. So and here you can see my first setup. This is a hybrid, I called it, because you can use this uh, on your daily missions, let's say, on your relic missions, on your uh, on your standard, let's say, under level 100 missions. I would use this build. So, what you see here, steel charge is optional. I put it because it gives you the most point, the most points. The best choice would be maybe corrosive projection or something like that. Uh, power drift for a little bit of strength. Streamline, Prime Flow, Prime Continuity, Healing Flame that heals you when you cast a Fire Blast ability. So then you have Vitality, Intensify, Umbral Intensify, Quick Sinking, Adaption for a little bit of tankiness, Arcane Garden and Arcane Grace to give you more armor and a little bit of healing. And I will show you a little bit of gameplay with this. So you cast the immolation to get a little bit of tankiness. What you want to do is fire blast, they fall, fire blast, they fall. You cast your ulti a little bit, but the best choice here is to go with the fire blast to debuff the enemies. You strip the armor from them better, and as you can see, you do already pretty good damage even though the strength wasn't really that high and as you can see we are kind of tanky and remember the arcane grace isn't fully upgraded by uh, in my case I need one rank more but you can see here already the fire blast is doing really good damage against them it doesn't really strip completely the armor with this build but it's not really necessary because if you have a decent weapon here I have the turret with viral damage. Okay, they are died. So, and this was against level 175 enemies. Here we'll show you against level 100. As I told you to use this build to uh, do relic missions and daily missions just. Let's see. You can see the armor stripping is still not really that great, but if you have a good weapon, in my case I have the turret with viral and I think fire, fire damage, they die pretty quick. You still debuff them really quick. This is kind of a debuff build for low level enemies. You just don't need more strength in my opinion for low level enemies. Here we have against level 75 heavy, heavy gunners. You can see the debuff them. You can also use the Ignis, I would say. Mod it with corrosive and fire and you will strip the armor really, really quick. Or maybe even only fire damage already kill them pretty fast. So for higher level enemies I choose this build here as you can see. We have lower strength only 55 and duration only 95 percent but higher efficiency, higher range, much higher range <coughs> and so as you can see I put overextended uh, fleeting ex expertise Completing expertise and hunter adrenaline because we will take a little bit of damage to the heals pool and as you take damage you will you will get a little bit of 
energy back, which is really good. So, and here you can see again 175 heavy gunners. About the car simulation. Car simulation, fire blast a few times. Take a weapon that heals you, a uh, melee weapon, I would suggest. And then you cast fire blast, the ulti a little bit. You can see we won't run out of energy, and if you are quick, you can heal yourself already up, uh, always up. This guy has already no armor anymore. Same with this guy. Same with this guy. And if you now take a good primary weapon that do deal flash damage, or a good melee weapon as the power assesses, I put flash drag on this weapon. So it will heal you with one swing. And as you see it's really good. Here you see when the emulation uh, meter is at 85%. We will be even more tankier I think and the armor strip is already gone. Just a few hits. So it will increase over time. Let's you see my energies won't my energy won't really run out as quick. Now you see my damage my heal pool is getting down, you just go near, give a swing and you are back to the heal. This time you already can kill the enemies. When they shoot you, you can always cast a fire blast to knock them down and get yourself time to heal you up. Heal yourself up. Good headshot with a good weapon and they are dead. It's no problem at all. As you can see, we won't die really. If you pay attention to your life points and uh, your energy, you won't die with this build. So guys, and this already was it, I would say, for this video, and as you saw, the lower strengths didn't really matter. In the end it was even better or more effective than the first build. In the end you saw it was even more effective against the level 175 enemies uh, than the first build. So uh, I will leave it for here, and if you like, leave a like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Warframe video. Bye bye.